Good morning from Juneau. Today's port is a very long day. We got here about 6.45 and we're not leaving till 4.45. So we've got lots of time to explore and do some excursions. It is 7 a.m. and Cabanas is open bright and early and there are a lot more people in here than I expected to see this early in the morning. Taking the shuttle into Juneau. We're the only ones on the bus. And Disney did just pay for the shuttles at flat rate, so everyone gets to take the bus for free instead of walking a mile. Pretty nice. We walked into town and then got a lift as close as they could get us. It's actually down the road a little bit to the Mendenhall Glacier here. We're gonna go over to the visitor center, pay our fee since it is a national park, and then we're gonna walk out to the Mendenhall Glacier. The visitor center has a really pretty overlook here, but we're gonna walk down that trail to the waterfall. Now that we have got our pass, we're gonna head out to the photo spot and get a picture. And then we're gonna head down the Nugget Falls Trail. It's about a mile out there and a mile back, but it's supposed to be the best view of the glacier. It's as close as you can get, and also the waterfall. There's the visitor center, and here is the photo spot overlooking the glacier and Nugget Falls over there. It's a really easy to walk, well-kept trail, but it's definitely not paved and it's a little bit hilly. Nothing quite like what we had to do in <laughs> Germany in the Black Forest when we were hiking up and down for the zip line. Peaceful. Definitely worth coming early in the morning to be able to walk out here without other people out here. Starting to hear the waterfall as we're getting closer now. Getting colder too. A lot colder. Really starting to cool down as we're getting closer to the glacier and I can also hear the waterfall. Got a few other people coming out now. distance. That's where we started. And that's as close as we can get to the glacier. A nice cool breeze coming off of it right now. On the way back to the visitor center we ducked off the trail to the beach access area and it's actually a better view of the glacier than it was down there by the waterfall. We made it back to the ship. We've got to go to the room and grab a couple things and then head out for our excursion. So it kind of threw me off. I walked out of the room here and the soundtrack in the hallway is actually the soundtrack from Wilderness Lodge. Really threw me. But I guess it makes sense because we're in Alaska and that's like Pacific Northwest, right? Cabanas is closed till 11.45 for lunch, so we're gonna grab something real fast before we head out to our excursion. So we took that shuttle bus that we took this morning back over here to the base of the tram station where we're meeting our van to go up to the dog sledding. We are super excited. We are now in the shuttle to get to our excursion. This is the very first excursion we have ever booked, not through Disney Cruise Line. Mm -hmm. It did come recommended by friends, had very high recommendations, but we are super excited, Robert especially. I'm very excited. <laughs> because we are taking a helicopter ride up to a glacier, which mm -hmm. is super cool in and of itself. Very cool. And then we're going dog sledding. Yes, we are gonna be dog sledding on a glacier. We even get to be the mushers, they said possibly. So we'll see how that goes. They were sold out of this excursion through Disney Cruise Line. So we didn't book through them, but alaskashoretours.com, super simple. We had no worries about booking this because we have a good window after the tour is over, an hour and a half before we have to be back on the ship with all aboard. And so that was fine. And then also it came highly recommended from friends. So we're really excited about this. So they gave everyone these waterproof boot covers. You just slide it on right over your shoe and strap it up.
made it to the camp. And the dogs are going crazy over there. So the helicopters all three land here. And then this is where they're camped out with the dogs. We made it to the camp. So many little puppies. boys here. They're both super sweet. This here is McCabe and we've got Mania. Feel free to give them a pet. They love attention. Sweetie. Hi. How are you? Oh, you're being shy. <laughs> Oh, do you want us to come down there? You want us to come down there? Oh, you do know your name. Hi, sweetie. Hi, you assume with sled dogs, but um, yeah, there's kind of four main sled dog breeds, which is the Alaskan Husky, this one here, Siberian, Inuit Husky, and then of course the Malamutes. What'd you do with your leg there, bud? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Hi there. Oh. We are in the sled, and Robert is the first musher. Not, not really. I'm just kind of in the back. Not the, the mushers official up there, one. The but, you know. unofficial musher. That's fine. Our dogs are so excited to start running. They cannot wait. And I think all these guys are jealous. What do you think, Alyssa? I think so too. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of- They want to run. Freaking out, they're ready to run. They're jumping so much. Hi there. Good puppies. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? Are you a good dog? Hi there. Pictures. This is Oh, we got all of them. Those are great. So we didn't know when we booked this, but we get to see some little puppies. So cute. That's got the puppy. Yep. Oh, Stormy. Uh, three months. She'll be four months on the 4th of July. Wow. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Okay, I'm busy. Oh, I'm not me. I'm busy. Not I'm busy. Yeah. You like the puppy, Alyssa? I love the puppy. Oh, do you? And I wow. thought you were a cat person. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Did you find a friend? I did find a friend. Oh. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> He's a good girl. Yes, you are. He's so sweet. <laughs> he likes all the attention, I think. No. We're friends now. We're friends. That was amazing. I love animals, so this was right up my alley in that sense, but this was an excursion Robert really wanted to do. 
I wasn't so sure about the helicopter, but it was beautiful coming up here and you don't realize just how high up you are until you're coming in and the camp looks like little bitty ants below mm -hmm. you and you realize you're really far up yeah. if everything down here looks really tiny. It was so cool riding up and then of course riding with the dog oh. musher and the dogs. That was just so much fun. I mean, how do you go to Alaska and not ride a dog sled? So we did and that was phenomenal. I know it's not it's like, you know, the movies where you're going as fast as you can through a <laughs> snowstorm and I don't want that. I want like the tourist version of it and that's what I got. It was amazing. And then as that surprise at the end, getting to see the puppies, that was like icing on the cake. And now helicopters, I hear them coming over the ridge. They're gonna be coming back to take us back down to the main base camp and then head back to the ship. So overall, this was just a ton of fun. Awesome. I'm very, very glad we did this. with about uh, an hour to spare. So now we're gonna go back to the room, clean up and take a nap. Heading into the theater for Frozen, a musical spectacular. It's a great Broadway caliber show, about an hour and 10 minutes long. Popcorn smelled and sounded really good tonight. So I stopped here by Preludes to get some right before the show. I broke down and got a Kit Kat too. It's fine. Just got out of the show and now we are going to a special game of bingo. This is double up bingo. So instead of 48 chances to win, we have 96, which is really awesome. All right, if you're ready to play bingo, let me hear you say, I'm ready. I'm ready. Three of us standing, one away. All right, can I play? I can't do it. Can I play? We did not win bingo. Somebody else ran. But the fact that I was one away on my card is Dad standing, but he's not the only one. So close, but no. Tonight, after losing bingo, we're heading into Tiana's place, and tonight is Mardi Gras, so we got to decorate our own masks. I have mine too. We're gonna be heading in here for the big party tonight. We got beads to go with our masks. And check out the cups that they use tonight. All of them are different. They're really cool. Perhaps it's just going to be a little Mardi Gras celebration here tonight. Yes. <laughs> so I hope y'all brought the trumpets, tambourines, and Mardi Gras beats. You can join along with us with them. It's going to be a party night here. It's going to be a little more crazy. The moment has arrived. Everyone, you clap their hands. Enjoy Tiana, the big Alice, the Tiana, Tiana, Brighty Bass Parade. Louis, but I see you. I see you there. Ah, oh, this is what the whole French Quarter is doing. Oh, 
I started with these shrimp and grits and the shrimp were so good and I actually really enjoyed the grits that doesn't happen often but I did really enjoy that then I also got the New Orleans seafood pepper pot did not enjoy this as much it was spicy did have a kick but I really didn't like the seafood inside it was kind of rubbery so not my favorite and I also got a couple of the special Mardi Gras celebration items tonight I got the boudin balls wasn't a big fan of those but they had a charcuterie board that was several different types of duck that was really really good and then I also got some soup I decided to get the tomato soup it was really sweet for tomato soup so I wasn't a big fan of that I know it's like one style of doing it but I didn't care for that so I just finished off Alyssa's seafood soup I got the Cajun spiced sea bass with jambalaya this was very very good I actually like this jambalaya better than the one I had the other night the whole dish was delicious. There was some shrimp in there too. So this was perfect because I really was in the mood for fish tonight. And I actually got two entrees. I got the roasted pork tenderloin. That was really good. It had kind of like an Asian type flavor to it mm -hmm. almost. It was weird because I thought it was gonna be more Cajun, but it was good. And then I got the prime rib with a twice baked potato. That was excellent. I love the prime rib. The jus mm -hmm. they put on there was really, really tasty. A little bit different than your typical prime rib jus, but I loved it. And then of course the twice baked potato was great too. And to finish it off, I ordered the beignets because it's Mardi Gras night. Gotta I had to. I think all of us pretty much did. Yeah. They were very, very good. I also asked about the chocolate dessert, but I was not able to have that. So the chef sent out some fruit and a big thing of ice cream with caramel, which was really sweet. I'm actually not a big caramel fan, but of course they didn't know that. So my dad was actually really happy because he loves vanilla ice cream. And then I decided to get the pecan tart, which I really enjoyed. It's not quite like a pecan pie. It wasn't nearly as sweet, but it was very, very good. I also got the white chocolate bread pudding mm -hmm. that had a bourbon caramel sauce and <laughs> ice cream on there. Very strong bourbon flavors, but it was very, very tasty. I really enjoy bread pudding anyway. That was probably my favorite of the three desserts. But then again, you really can't go wrong with beignets. And we have had a very full day today, a very long day. We started very early and we're exhausted. There's no <laughs> special show going on tonight besides the dueling pianos and everything. So I think we're gonna just call it a night and head to bed. Yeah, we are very tired and that's totally fine because we have had an amazing day, but we have done so much that we are ready to crash and just sleep. We don't have to be out early tomorrow because we can't even go ashore until 11.15. So we're just gonna enjoy the evening, maybe go watch the sunset for a few minutes and then just go to bed. It is almost 11 o'clock at night. The sun is still setting, it's still bright out here. It is beautiful. Just got back to the room and um, is, it, is it a dinosaur? What do you think? I don't know. It looks like a. I'm gonna say brachiosaurus. That's what I'm going with. It's a whale. Yeah. Definitely a whale. It's probably of all things not a whale since it has <laughs> legs. But hey, we have towel art. <laughs>